By means of this recording, you will hear one of the messages which T.L. Osborne has preached in many of his great campaigns. After the songs have been triumphantly sung by the multitudes and the preliminaries have been completed, then comes the most important hour, time for the preaching of the gospel. The evangelist steps to the microphone and opens his Bible to a divine promise that is as fresh and real today as it was in Bible days. Again and again, from crusade platforms in many parts of the world, he has heralded these truths of deliverance. Each time, many have responded to receive miracles from God. And now, may the place where you are listening be saturated with the same anointing which is upon the evangelist. After he has ministered from the word of God, he will be praying the prayer of faith. If you will enter into that prayer and believe, you can expect something wonderful to happen in your life. And now, here is evangelist T.L. Osborne. I want to speak to you about the healing of a crippled man in the Bible. It says Jesus entered into Capernaum, and it was told that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together insomuch that there was no room to receive them, not even near the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was carried by four men. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up his bed, and went forth before them all. They were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. This is a remarkable story of the miracle power of Christ. The Bible says the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. The Bible says Christ was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. The Bible says Satan comes to steal and kill and destroy us. But Jesus came that you might have life more abundantly. You can have his abundant life today if you'll only believe. As the people crowded into this house where the Lord was, the Bible says Christ preached the word unto them. Jesus taught the people the word of God before he healed them because faith comes by hearing the word of God. If you want to have faith in the Lord God, you must hear his word. Faith is coming to him and asking him to do for us what he's promised in his word to do. If we know what he's promised to do for us, then we can come and expect him to do those things. We learn his promises by hearing his word. Then we expect him to fulfill his promises, and that's faith. So this story in the Bible opens with Jesus preaching the word to build their faith. Then the paralytic man is carried to the Lord. He went through great difficulty to get there, but his faith was rewarded. He was forgiven of his sins, and he was healed of his diseases because he believed. The Bible tells us that some in that crowd did not have faith. They only came to criticize. While Jesus spoke, they sat there reasoning and criticizing the words of the Lord. But God calls our attention to the man who received a miracle, to the one who had faith, to the one who got healed. That's the example which is recorded for you to follow. If you'll come to the Lord Jesus like that man came, you'll receive like he received. If we want the Lord to do for us what he did for people in Bible days, we must come to him with the same faith that people had in the Lord then. Do like this man did who got results, and you'll get results. Because the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Notice the way this man came to Jesus. He was crippled, unable to walk. But four of his friends came and carried him to the Lord. This was a real desperate action to get to Jesus. He could have said, oh, I can't walk, I can't go. Or he could have said, oh, my doctor told me that I'm too sick to go. Or he could have said, I can't walk, tell the Lord to come and heal me at my house. He could have made many excuses, but he didn't. He went to the meeting. It wasn't easy, but he went anyway, and his faith was rewarded. They carried him down the street on his bed to the meeting. I think that's a wonderful example of faith, don't you? 
This crippled man had faith enough to believe that if he could get to the Lord, he'd be healed. Thank God the Bible says, If thou canst only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. I remember a woman down in West Indies who was paralyzed. Her friends heard how the sick were coming to our campaign and being healed by the power of the Lord. This woman was completely paralyzed and lay as one dead, unconscious. Four neighbor women carried her limp body and laid it down before the platform where I was preaching. As they listened to the message, God gave them faith through his word. After the message was finished, we prayed for the sick. We called on the name of the Lord to stretch out his great healing hand and make the sick well. That woman was instantly healed. She got up and walked home perfectly well. The same miracle that Jesus did in Bible days, he did right there in the West Indies as we believe the word of the Lord. I want you to notice the determination of this man in the Bible. When they carried him on his bed to the meeting where Jesus was teaching, the house was so full they couldn't even get near the door. If they would have been like many people, they would have said, Well, we better take you home, old man. We can't get you in the house. Or they might have said, I suppose it's not God's will to heal you because we can't get inside, so we'll go home. No, my friends, they didn't say that. They had faith. The old man said, Take me up on the roof. Tear up the roof and let me down. If I can get in there, I'll get healed. Some skeptic might have said, but what if we drop you? He must have said, I'm going to die anyway. Just get me in that meeting and I'll be healed. So they took him up on the roof, tore off part of the tile, and let his bed down with ropes right where Jesus was speaking. That was great faith and great determination. The Bible says when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the sick man, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Arise, take up thy bed and walk. Isn't that wonderful? He saw their faith in their action. He knew that it took faith to climb up on that rooftop and tear that tile away and let that crippled man down by ropes. Yes, when Jesus saw their faith, he said, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And the man was instantly healed. He didn't look at the Lord and say, Oh, but Lord, I can't walk. Don't you see? I'm paralyzed. Praise the Lord. This man got up off his bed, picked it up, put it on his head, and went forth before them all. They were all amazed and glorified God and shouted, We've never seen it on this fashion. I remember a girl who was brought to one of our meetings in the Caribbean. This girl had an incurable disease of the bones. In order to stop the disease, doctors had removed the ball joint from her hip. So she had no ball to connect her leg bone to her body. They gave her crutches to walk with because she was not able to bear her weight on that leg. We preached the gospel and told the people about the power of God. We told them if they would just accept Jesus and believe on him, that he could do anything. We explained how they must act upon the word of the Lord. So when we prayed for the sick, this girl wept and accepted Jesus into her heart. After she received Jesus as her Savior, I prayed for the sick to be healed in the name of Jesus. I commanded them in Jesus' name to rise up and walk. Sick people began to get well. Blind people began to see. Deaf people received their hearing. This girl handed her crutches to her parents and stepped forth in Jesus' name. The mother was frightened because she knew the child would fall to the ground since it was impossible for her to walk. But this girl had faith in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. She stepped out believing God and was instantly made whole. The power of God recreated the bone in her leg and her body was made perfectly whole. Men cannot do a miracle like this. No dead God can perform a miracle like this. No religion in the world can perform a miracle like this. But the power of the living God through his son Jesus Christ can do all things. Jesus says, if thou canst only believe, all things are possible. There was a man who was carried to one of our meetings who had been crippled for 16 years. During war, a shell had gone through his spine, crippling him for life. His legs became drawn against his body and stiff. 
For 16 years he walked with his hands, dragging his body through the streets. He heard the gospel of Jesus Christ as he came to our meeting. I preached that night about Jesus healing the crippled man in Bible days. Then we prayed for the sick, asking the Lord to send his power and make them whole. When we commanded the sick to rise up and walk in Jesus' name, that crippled man was instantly healed. God recreated his spine and his legs became straight again. He stood up and walked for the first time in 16 years. It was a miracle. My friends, what Jesus Christ did for others, he will do for you. The Bible says, as many as touched the Lord were made perfectly whole. You can touch him right now through your faith. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Ask forgiveness for your sins while I pray for you right now. Repent of your sins and promise to never go back to your sins again. Promise to read the Bible and follow Jesus Christ as your only Savior. Accept him into your heart. Let his blood cleanse you of your sins. He will forgive you of your sins and he'll heal you of your diseases. Bow your head and let me pray for you. Close your eyes and only believe. O oh Lord God in heaven, I believe that you're seeing each one who's listened to this message. You see the sins that they've committed. O oh Lord, help them to be ashamed of their sins and never to go back to them again. Cleanse them right now and forgive them. Make them honest and pure and clean in their hearts. Help them to follow Jesus Christ and his example. And now, Lord, let your power come upon their sick bodies and heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask you to stretch out your hand and touch their sick bodies now. Take away every disease and restore every broken part of their body. Oh, Lord, there's nothing too hard for you. Put your hand upon them and make them whole right now in Jesus Christ's name. Destroy the work of the devil in their soul and in their bodies. Make them pure and clean in their soul. And make them strong and healthy in their body. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.